Hey everybody, what's going on? Helmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today's topic is going to be covering the recent complaints that have been leveled about autofill in ranked especially. And I wanted to address this in particular because it is a big issue. A lot of people are kind of jumping on the bandwagon with and saying, Oh man, autofill sucks so much and it's such a bad thing and I can't believe why Riot would do that and it threatens ranked integrity because you're not always able to play your role. And, and yes, they do have some valid points. I think that ranked is a much more difficult place to play in now that you're not guaranteed one of your best roles. If you get autofill into something you don't normally play, like mid, if you don't play mid or AD carry or anything really, it does kind of suck because in rank you're trying to win as hard as you can and it's difficult to do that when you're forced to play a role that you just don't normally play and maybe it's maybe it's not that you're bad at the role maybe you just don't want to play it maybe you think that you do worse maybe you don't want to play that role in particular because you know that a, a champion that counterpicks most of your mains is currently in meta i know right now i have to ban jace pretty much every game i play because if he gets picked i lose the lane and maybe that's just a systematic problem with jace but that's beside the point we're getting a little sidetracked here at any rate, the people who are arguing against autofill do have a, a couple of good points that should be analyzed. However, I don't think they're, they're stopping to think about why autofill was turned on in the first place. You see, back in the old system, where you were guaranteed one of your two positions, the queue times were frankly terrible, especially at high elo, because you did not have, you had to guarantee that someone was going to get their preferred roles. And it's no secret, not very many people play support. There are very few people who would queue a support with even as a secondary. And if, the, if you have to get people their roles, this means that support secondaries almost always end up supporting. Support primaries definitely always end up supporting. Fill players are always support because you need more supports than can possibly go around. And even with all these people forced to play support, you still don't have enough people who are willing to do it in the first place to end up getting a decent queue time. Now, this is kind of where we're at. So when Riot said, all right, so we're doing away with Dyna queue, we want to create a new queue. So they invented Flex queue. And that's currently where we're at. In Flex queue, you are choosing role preferences, not roles that you were guaranteed to play. So if I queue up and I say I want top and mid, that just says to the game, I would prefer top most of, more than anything else, and if I can't get top, I would prefer mid. However, it does not mean that I am guaranteed those positions. In fact, it'll try to get me there, but, if, but in the interest of the health of queues, the game will fill me as necessary to, in order to accelerate it. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. First of all, if you are really hardcore playing ranked, if you really want to be good at this game, you probably know how to play all of the roles in this game. I think, frankly, it's unacceptable to have players who are who have been playing for even a year who still say things like, I don't support, or I can't support, or I can't jungle. You should learn, especially if you're trying to play in a competitive environment. The other thing to consider is that this system isn't really any different from what we had prior to DynaQ and FlexQ, in which pick order versus call order and all that thing was, you know, existed. And in that situation, it was a lot of, I would like to play these roles, but you weren't guaranteed them. If you ended up in a lobby and three people all say, I'm a mid main, well, you can't have three mid laners if you really want a decent shot at winning. So someone is going to have to play somewhere else. And this honestly is better than where it was before because before it was all based on call order and who wants to do what and you would end up with intractable people who would say i am going to play mid no matter what you do and then they play chicken with their other laner and terrible things happen like you end up with two mids or you end up with champions or people trolling or dodging and all sorts of pretty terrible stuff nowadays because people are picking their preferences the pe the person who autofills realizes I got autofilled, and they kind of have to make the best of it, or they have to discuss with their allies if they want to trade roles. That's always a thing you can do if you end up in a position you don't like. The other thing to note is that the new queue is very useful in that it uh, it actually heavily weights your preferences. So people can actually queue as mid-primary support secondary and end up with mid more often than not because the system does have auto-filled supports now that it can make use of and it won't have to put you at support every single time. And this is a big advantage of the queue system, I think, in that you are going to get your primary position more often than not instead of saying, I'm, I'd like one of these two roles, but I'm pretty much going to get the role that nobody is playing. 
So I think in general, keep these things in mind when you're playing autofill and when you're getting autofilled because yeah, it does suck. I would prefer if you could play whatever role you wanted whenever you wanted it, but unfortunately the realities the queue say that's not the case and you will have to make some kind of uh, concessions in order to have a healthy queue and a healthy game. Anyway, this is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, as it does help me in what I do. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, or go ahead and check out my blog, grabthelantern.tumblr.com, as it does contain content that I produce just about every day. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later.